trip I made was 1964. Then we've traveled a lot all over the United States, Canada, Europe, Mexico. Or oh, I have often said uh, we were a big family, we had a lot of love, we had a lot of closeness, we didn't have any money. And had Daddy left me or left us uh, the money to travel and see so much of the world as we have, I would have never bought probably never bought the first air fare to fly to New York or to Paris or to Juneau, Alaska or Mexico City. And I may have spent it foolishly. But what he's left me uh, musically, nobody can steal it from me, nobody can jet me out of it. And I think one of the most wonderful things that he could have left me. Because no matter how much money he would have left me, I could have never bought uh, the knowledge of music that we had. And that's what on me, oh. Asian music is a fun, fun kind of music. It comes and goes. It, it never dies. You know? Mm -hmm. You know your rock and roll music? But well, you can't call it rock and roll. It died out. This is dead. Mm -hmm. Except for a few, few you know? But uh, French music comes and goes. Well, it's of course, our rock and roll music now is not what it used to be. Either. I mean, everybody's got a rock and roll band. He plays 50% country. Or, or even hard rock. But, uh, French music comes and goes, it's hard to say. I, I wouldn't just I wouldn't go out there and say, uh, yes, it'll die out, or no, it won't, because it, it's hard to say. Yeah. I, I hope it don't. I didn't know for sure I was going into it. And then uh, I just practiced at home by myself. And my little boys would hit on a cardboard box. And, you know, I should drown one of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, after about five years ago, I decided I was going to go all the way this time, no stopping. And uh, so I picked up a bass, drum, and the accordion. And we played at different little places, little clubs. Paul Washington played Play, bass? Bass for me. And was your son playing drums? Uh, he played drums, playing drums. And I had the other one, uh, John, my other son, John Jr., playing scrub boat. I tell you, I had a hard time getting where I'm at. All the other bands would laugh, talk about me, I'd never learn, we'd not, never get nowhere. So I didn't get discouraged, I just played my own style of music. And the more I played, the more people loved what I was doing. One of the things I really done was notice what the other guys were playing, how the people would respond to it, and give people exactly what they wanted, what mm -hmm. they would respond to. That's why my music is so different from the other bands. I play my own style of music. Yeah. I don't like to play anybody else's music. See, in 1955, when I started playing, when I, when I started playing big dance, you know, like, and nobody around here was playing accordion no more. It's like a daddy, he had to stop. And the rest of the Sydney Bobby and them Randall boys, they had to stop. So now, when I come up and made a hit, then that opened up. See, black people didn't want to even hear talk of accordion. They didn't want to even listen to it. Yeah. And uh, young black, what happened? But I kept it going, kept it going, kept it going. Now everybody wanted to play a card here. And you'd be surprised if the fellas called my house. I mean, I show them how to play, and I said, man, I don't know how I can't show you that. You got to write it yourself. I like my own. I like the way I wanted to play. Okay, nobody could come in and play, play like, uh uh. You can't tell me nothing. You can do what I want to do. That's how I like it. That's why you see I like it. On style. Oh, let me show you.